Hello and welcome back to another episode of DCS in 10 minutes or less with the Mirage 2000. This is episode 15, which will be going over close combat modes. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's get into it. Alright, so we're going over close combat modes. Close combat modes are radar auto acquisition options that will automatically switch radar to STT and lock targets within 10 nautical miles, depending on which mode you are using. So the following modes are going to be Boresight, Vertical Scan, Horizontal Scan, SVI Scan, and RAS. Alright, so some of the HOTAS commands you're going to need. So you go to Escape, go to Adjust Controls. Make sure you have Mirage 2000 selected up here. First HOTAS command is going to be Weapon System Command Forward, Weapon System Command Aft, Weapon System Command Depress. Then we're going to need Radar Antenna Down, Radar Antenna Up. Alright, so our first close combat mode we're going to go over is Boresight. Before that, we're going to select our 530. So you're going to come down to the panel down here, select 530. On the left side of the HUD, you can indicate that 530 is selected. It's flashing because the panel's on safe. If you arm it, it goes solid. Alright, pause, track IR. We're going to put the VTB repeater up here, so it's just a radar repeater. That way you guys can see how the radar is acting in different modes. Alright, so you got 530 selected. How to get into Boresight mode? You're going to use your uh, HOTAS command forward one time. Alright, now we got some balls right here. So this is going to be a 3 degree wide and 3 degree tall uh, cone. So all you have to do is pretty much find a target visually or if you know where he is roughly somehow, magic. Uh, you just put him inside this uh, symbology right here and the radar will automatically lock him up. So you can use this for uh, your FOX 1, your FOX 2, and your guns. So I have A-10 out here flying around. We're just going to use them as a demonstration. There he is. Labels are on so you guys actually see it on uh, your screen. Alright, so we just locked him up. It's good to go. Now we're going to use Command D press to unlock him. We're just going to come over here. And now we're going to get into our next mode. Alright, so the next mode is going to be SVI. This mode is only available with a 530 or police mode. We're going to go over police mode in the uh, future video is coming up very soon, so don't worry about it. Alright, so again, 530 or police mode. Uh, so, to make it display, you're going to use HOTAS command forward until you see SVI pop up on the right side. So, if nothing's popped up, so, say, you just have a normal HUD of 530, you got to push it twice. If you have bore size selected, just push it once until you see SVI. Alright, so this is pretty much a bigger boresight cone, so instead of 3 degrees by 3 degrees, it's going to be pretty much your whole entire HUD. It's going to be 20 degrees wide and 20 degrees tall, so it's pretty much going to be like this. Alright, so let's find that A10. There he is. I get some separation. Everything's good to go. Alright, command D press to unlock him. Go nose cold on him. Alright, so the next mode is going to be horizontal scan. So, how you get into this mode? You're going to use HOTAS command aft. Alright, so this will give you a 30 degree wide and 5 degree tall scan bar. So, this dash bar right here is indicating that we have horizontal uh, scan selected. Like I said, it's going to be 30 degrees on your or your radar. You can see we have a 30 degree azimuth selected. Uh, what's really cool about this mode, so you can use your antenna elevation up and down to scan different areas. And then you can also use your TDC left and right to do lateral scans. So you can see right here, oh, we locked them up. Alright, so let's go aft again. Alright, so you see we're almost going towards the middle. There's the end of it right there. He's just swinging around. Alright, so uh, horizontal scan has two modes as well. So we got VAH right here, and then there's also VA2. So VAH scans in high PRF, and then VA2 scans in medium PRF. How you select between both is just command aft, and you just toggle between them. So there's VA2 right there, then VAH. Honestly, I was just scan in VAH because it's high PRF. I'd rather just use that. Alright, so we're going to use, or we're going to find that A10 again. 
Alright, so we know he's over here. We're going to try to... Let's see if we can pick him up from right here. So scan all the way left. And we got him. Command D press unlock him. Good nose cold on him again. And pause. Alright, so next mode is going to be a vertical scan. Unfortunately, the 530 cannot do vertical scan, so we're just going to go get rid of 530. Then we're going to use our CMM control to go to magic. If you guys don't have that, it is CMM magic. Alright, so we got magic selected. You can see that on the left side of the HUD. We got magic selected. So, what you're going to do now is going to go command forward. You got bore sight. And then push it again. And then you got a vertical scan. So, this vertical scan scans in 60 degrees vertical, 60 degrees, and 5 degrees wide. So, 5 degrees wide and 60 degrees tall. So, it scans 10 degrees below the nose and 50 degrees above the nose. So, it's actually probably about right above the mirror. Uh, so you can use this for your Fox 2, which is your magic, and your guns. So let's go lock him up. It's over here. Already got him. So yeah, that was way up there. Let's unlock him. There we go. Got him locked up. Oh, no, we don't. There we go. Well, now I'm curious. That's a magic locking him up. There we go. A little finicky. Alright, yeah, so that's uh, vertical scan. For the last mode, we're going to reset, and I'll go over that. Okay, we just reset. We're going to go over the final mode, which is RAS. Uh... <laughs> RAS is going to be a radar slaving to a slewable square on your HUD. Okay, so how are we going to do this? We're going to unpause this. Okay, we're going to make sure our range is at 10 nautical miles. Our PRF is going to be at BFR, STT, set to 530, hit TTC depress. That's going to be flashing, indicating that you have a square on your HUD. And I just locked them up like that. Alright, let's unlock it and let's fly somewhere else real quick so you guys can see how it looks. Actually, I was just coming around here. Let's see if I can do it again. Got it. There we go. Slid to the left, got him again. Alright guys, that will be this video. Catch you on the next one. Later.